Hello YouTubers, it's Red Elric here and uh, I just wanted to do a little video about the Peterson pipes that I've got um, I think I've got a bit of a reputation for being a Dracula nut um, I have got uh, 11 Dracula pipes now I think and I do have some other pipes as well I have a couple of Atlantics, a couple of Christmas pipes 2015, a Christmas pipe 2014, uh, and another one there that's not in the box, and a Jekyll and Hyde pipe as well. Um, uh, one of the Draculas came without a sleeve, so that's that one on the end. Um, so I'd just like to get the Draculas and show you what I've got at the moment. So, focus please, focus. First of all, from the sandblasts, there we go. From the sandblasts, I've got that nice 03, 69, the 221, the 105, X105, and the 999. The 999s are one of my favourite shapes. In general though, I do like straight pipes. As opposed to curves in looks, but curves sometimes feel a bit more natural to hold in, in your mouth. Um, like these. Now I like these, uh, these three. But I have to say, probably my favourite pipe because of the stem. And because of the ring grain, that probably this out of the sandblast, the 69 is probably my favourite. And it was the first one that I had. And it's just a real joy to own that one. So those are my sandblasts. Okay, and now these are the smooth versions, which are the ones that I had first in the same models. And you'll notice that there's one which I haven't got in Sandblast, but I have in smooth. And that's one of my favourite pipe shapes because of the way it feels when you actually hold it it's a great pipe for for my size of hands which is quite large for gripping the pipe it just feels really natural to hold it and that's a 68 I do have a 68 in the Atlantic which is a, a good pipe as well but I was really disappointed um, that I wasn't able to get a sandblasted 68 in the Dracula um, I really like this pipe and it was one of the pipes that when it came out as a Dracula it was one of the limited edition Draculas so this is what actually one of the original Draculas that was supposed to be limited edition but they then decided to continue the range my smooth Dracula 03 um, that was one of the first pipes that I had in Dracula and I like it because as somebody pointed out it looks like a little sort of the apple shape looks like a witch's cauldron which I guess it sort of goes with the whole sort of Dracula Halloween type of thinking but I just like it anyway just because it looks nice it looks good smooth comparing it to the rustic well it's a tough call they're both really nice I like them both individually um, but I think probably the smooth just about just about edges in front uh, uh, in terms of what I like also I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but on the nickel engraving the Dracula is written upside down on the old smooth pipe and on the newer one 
they turn that round so you can read Dracula if you're looking actually at the pipe. Okay, so the 69 in smooth. This is another one that was one of the limited edition. It was one of the first Draculas that came out. And if I had to pick between the Smooth or the Sandblast, not just because that's my favorite Sandblast and I like the ring grain, but I just think the Sandblast looks better with this shape of pipe. But this is a good bowl and it smokes well. But that's my thinking on that. Okay. The 221, I uh, think this could possibly have been the first Dracula that I had, I can't remember, I'd have to look back and check my videos, but yeah, and again I think that the smooth just about edges ahead of the sandblast in terms of what I think looks best. Um, I don't know, some days I think I prefer the sandblast, but most of the time I think I think this looks better in the smooth. But there's not much between the two, really, in terms of what I like best. The straight X105. Hmm... I really like my smooth one but I think that the sandblast again that one slightly edges ahead I don't know why I, I it's hard really to compare the two even though they're the same it's hard to compare the two because I like both of them so much I do like the smooth and I kind of got used to that stem with hardly any black in it just because that looks like a nice little flame at the front I think if it wasn't such a, a characteristic little mark that I probably would have been really disappointed that it's all red but there you go Oops. and you can see I still haven't st uh, smoked this one yet but I know how it will smoke because comparing it to it's going to be exactly the same as this one but yeah I like this and I talk a bit more about another straight pipe in a bit and lastly the 999 now this 999 really is one of my favorites i love the stem on it i think i've mentioned this before and i might regret saying this but i think it looks better i think it looks better in smooth than it does in sandblast now it doesn't mean that i'm disappointed or sad that i got the sandblast because again i think on their own i think they look fantastic but if you've got to compare the two, I think there's something about the shape. Oh, the light's not too good there, sorry. But there's something about the shape of the 999 that really lends itself to really being um, a smooth shape to show that off. It's the, it's the smooth edges, the angles the cut in there which you th personally I think that you kind of lose that a little bit by sandblasting it so whereas with the with the 69 that probably doesn't matter so much um, and I would imagine that if I got a 68 a 68 in sandblast that would probably feel the same as well it probably look better sandblasted than it does as a smooth one okay so there we go those are my Draculas 
Um, I've got a lot and I probably won't get any more. I know you've heard that one before, but I probably won't get any more. Um, and one of the reasons is that, uh, for instance, I could get a sandblasted 68, but it would cost so much to get it to have it sent over from Dublin or America. Um, I can't justify that kind of price. Um, the only real chance I've got of getting one is if if there was somebody in the UK that was, uh, or, or, or perhaps somebody in the Netherlands or somewhere like that that was selling one on eBay or somewhere like that. Or if a specialist tobacconist somehow got some. But as I said before, I think Lynn uh, was the only guy from GQ Tobaccos that managed to get sandblast in the UK. Um, but I did get a Christmas pipe um, 106, which I didn't think I'd get. So you never know, one could come up. Um, but again, that's still not all the set. There are um, one that I really like that I've seen, but again, only from shops outside the UK, was a 107. So imagine this with a much chunk, short, slightly shorter stem, a bigger, chunkier bowl, even bigger than the 106. And that is your 107. And I've only ever seen it in Sandblast. And it looks really good. And uh, that's one that would be on my wish list that I know I'll probably never get. So that's two on my wish list. Um, now I did do a similar video to this going back maybe two years ago. And I did it because I got a smooth, I think it was, and I think it's called an 87 in Dracula. Um, but I didn't particularly like it, so I sold that one on eBay. And I know that you can get those in Sandblast or Smooth. And it was really the stem that put me off. So, again, never say never, but if one came up on eBay, maybe... And I think there's another one, is it 408, something like that, I think, which is a straight pipe with quite a broad pot. Uh, they, do, they do those in Smooth and Sandblast, and that's another one. I've never had that model. I've never had the 107. Um, I've only once had the 87, so they're all ones that's out there. I don't think there's any others I've seen in, in Dracula. No, hang on, I tell a lie. There's the 01. Um, another pipe that I've never had that shape but I know that they do them in Dracula and Sandblast but unfortunately here in the UK chances are I'll never have them maybe you think I've got enough maybe you think I've got too many I don't know <laughs> but uh, I don't know when you're obsessed with something <laughs> what the heck okay well thank you for watching um, I hope that was enjoyable in some way uh, I'm going to have to pack all these away while I enjoy my nice little espresso coffee with some cream in it. Top banana. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye.